noise in our head. And, oh my God, I'm scared of this and I'm scared of that. And I'm scared of that. And you just don't know what to do. You got to hunt the good stuff. Hey everybody, it's Jeff coming to you from my bedroom because it's the only clean room in the house. But I've had some conversations over the last couple of weeks and it's brought some things to light for a couple of people that I just wanted to share, if that's okay. So there's a whole lot going on right now, as I'm sure you are painfully aware of. And when that happens, we don't know where we're headed. We don't know what's going to happen. And that creates a fear that's quite challenging for a lot of people. You know, we can't read minds. <laughs> Nobody can. So it's okay that we don't know what's coming. But the fact that we don't know for a lot of people creates this imaginary beast in their minds. It's called the fear of the unknown. And that's really scary for a lot of people. And it's okay, because you know, fear is normal. We're human beings, that fear serves a purpose. It's designed in us to protect ourselves. We're not gonna run away from something that scares us if we don't get afraid of it first, right? We need to be scared first. So it's okay to have this sense of fear. What's not okay is to panic and freak out over it. And it's not an easy lesson to learn. I used to be that guy. I'm not anymore. I used to be terrified because I couldn't predict and I couldn't see and I didn't know. I've been through a lot and I've had a mountain of therapy to go along with it and it's taught me so much. And one of the biggest things that I've conquered is that fear of the unknown. So let me share with you a little bit about what I've gone through in my own head and what I think you can do to tame that beast that you've created that's not real. Maybe just a little piece of this can help you or somebody you know. Okay, now disclaimer, panic disorder, anxiety disorder, those are real things. So if that's you, this video is probably not for you, but there's a lot here on YouTube that is for you. So I encourage you to go take a look at those things. For everybody else who has a tendency to panic because you can't see what's in front of you, it's important first to understand what it is you're actually scared of. We need to define what is meant by the unknown. What is the unknown? That thing we've created in our heads because we can't see it, it's very, very powerful. It controls us. It can paralyze us so that, you know, we hear just noise in our head and we just don't know which way to turn and you're not quite sure how to react and you just don't know what to do. That's normal, that's okay. But we need to just step back for a moment and breathe and remove the emotion and really open our minds to the notion that this thing that's scaring us so much isn't really that big of a deal, honestly. At its barest sense, it is just simply something we don't know. And we're intelligent beings, you know? We can Google. We can fix what we don't know. We can learn. That beast we've created in our minds is just a thing, you know? It doesn't have a gun to your head. It's not holding your children hostage. It's just a thing in our head. It's our imagination trying to protect us. It's a vision. If we can first and foremost grasp that, take a breath and relax just a second in that thought, we can dial down the anxiety just a bit, just by even thinking about that. But that stuff out there that's scaring us, they are things. Take them one at a time. There can be many things that scare us at once. Take that one thing at a time and create a mental picture of it. See that thing that scares you. Give it a face. And when you do, what I want you to do is to observe it for just a moment. Observe what scares you. Observe what makes you uncomfortable and nervous, what makes you panic. Our goal here is to isolate the fear and to look specifically at it so we can study it. There's a reason that thing is scaring us. Think about it, see it, write it down, have a visual and ask yourself, what is it about this thing that scares me? Once you get a good picture of it, it's important to challenge that fear. Just like you would challenge your kid who comes home two hours late after curfew. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Who have you been with? You know, go after that fear like that. What is it about you that has me terrified? Are you gonna kill me? Are you gonna hurt me? Are you gonna hurt somebody I love? Are you gonna steal my money? What specifically about you scares me so much. Just by asking those simple questions and 
challenging that fear, the anxiety is going to dial down just a bit because you will be able to see that the effort and the energy you're putting toward that thing is just not worth it. So now that we've challenged that fear after isolating it, it's time to go just a little bit deeper. Okay, now I want you to challenge yourself a little bit. I want you to investigate that fear on a deeper level. Where did that fear come from? Did my mom react when I was growing up a certain way and so now I'm kind of like doing what she was doing? Where is that fear coming from? There's something that's happened to you back here that's making you react that way today. Find that. That's so important because once you find that, you're removing its power totally. It's difficult for us if we've been programmed by something for decades to all of a sudden change it. That's okay, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but just knowing where it came from, being able to put your finger on the fact that it's programming that's making you behave this way is a victory in itself. Two side notes. Number one, a lot of times we are afraid of something we've already been through, okay? It was a difficult, challenging thing, and here it comes, it's gonna happen again, and oh my God, what am I gonna do? You know what you're gonna do, because you've done that before. You have been there before. Whatever is happening to you today, chances are very strong that you not only have been there before, but you made it through, you survived it. And so guess what, you're gonna do it again. Side note number two, I've discovered in my own life that a lot of the fear I was having about what I didn't know was coming from a place of insecurity and not having the confidence that I could do the things I needed to do to get past this fear. Self-esteem. And in those cases, it's important for you to do the work to know that you are worthy. You are, you really are. At the end of the day, we all are. And so to doubt that, is probably also programming, number one. But number two, it's absolutely something we can change. If we just try, we can do that thing that we don't think we can do. And if we don't pull it off, so what? If we fail, who cares? If you fall on your face or almost, as I absolutely have done, <laughs> on national TV, mind you, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. So know that you are enough because you are. We have a choice in how we react, you know? I mean, there is a small little bit of space in between what happens to us and how we react to it where we have the power to choose. And it's important to grab that moment and make sure that we are choosing the healthy thing, the right thing, and we're not freaking out over something that simply doesn't exist. We need to understand that failure is not only okay, it is absolutely necessary. Failure is an amazing teacher. Without it, it's difficult to grow as a person. It's difficult to be stronger and bigger and better and faster and badder and all that great stuff. So what we need to do is to understand that we can't succeed without a series of failures. So when failure shows up in your life, don't wallow in all the bad that's happening and oh my God, I'm scared of this and I'm scared of that, and I'm scared of that. Immediately look for what's good because it's there. You gotta hunt the good stuff. With every crisis, with every danger, there is also an opportunity. So train yourself to look for that opportunity in that moment and it will open the door for so much. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Change your mindset and you'll one day embrace all that we don't know. I used to absolutely freak out on people when I didn't know what was coming and how to handle it and all this stuff, I'd get paralyzed just like the best of them. But I don't anymore because I have looked at my fears and I've challenged them and I've investigated them. I've gone deep to see where they come from so I understand that I was taught something that I can unteach myself. If we respond to difficult situations with worry and with fear, really, we're just setting ourselves up to be at war with reality. So I hope these little steps have helped you. They certainly helped me. And I know I don't react that way anymore. I've learned to find the beauty 
and the opportunity and every ugly thing that comes rolling by. And my life is so awesome today. No matter what's happening, no matter how much money I have or don't have, no matter how sick I may get, I am in a place where I am so happy and that's really important. You can be there too. Don't let what you don't know scare you. Don't let it, it's not worth it. Your greatest potential is lying on the other side of that fear that has you paralyzed. Push through it, keep going forward. It's just sitting there waiting on you to grab it. I know you can do it, go get it, good luck. Hey, if any part of this helped you, I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Hey, bye.